Hi guys, I'm John Quilter, aka The Food Busker, and I'm here at Mash Direct's farm in Northern Ireland, just outside of Belfast, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a gluten-free pizza with mashed potato. Doesn't that look tasty? It's gonna be so delicious. The flavor that it's gonna deliver just looks beautiful, doesn't it? Okay, so this is the mashed potato. It's Maris Piper, it comes from these fields. Maris Piper is perfect for mash because it's really earthy and it has this beautiful nutty flavor that comes through beautifully. It's cooked here on the farm and it's grown here in these fields. So these are the potatoes. They tell the story of the sea and the salt that comes in and that prevents this field from getting frost. It also sucks in that salt, that's why these taste so good and this is a hundred percent natural environment they really are amazing and this soil has been in this family for over six generations they obsess about keeping this healthy that's why these taste so good and that's what's going into your pizza base to make the pizza base you need 400 grams of mashed potato into 175 grams of gram flour. You want to do this with cold mashed potato. Fluff up the potato and get some air into it. Now we need half a teaspoon of baking powder, a nice pinch of salt, 30 grams of parmesan. The flavor that it's going to deliver into that pizza base is going to give it a real cheesy, slightly salty vibe. Delicious. Crack an egg, whisk it up, pour that in and bind everything together. You want to bring the dough together so that it's still a little damp, but it's not sticking to your hands. And now we're going to roll that out into our pizza base. Dust down your chopping board, put your dough on top, and a little bit of flour on your rolling pin, and then gradually and carefully start rolling it out, making sure that the dough doesn't stick to the rolling pin. You want to get it to a little bit thicker than a pound coin. Scoop it up onto some greaseproof paper onto a baking tray. That now goes in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes at 200. Okay, while that's baking away, we're gonna make a very simple, very quick, nice and tasty tomato base for it. So we start with dicing and slicing a shallot and some garlic. Some olive oil into a medium hot pan, add the garlic and the shallots in there and slowly let them fizz and gently release their flavor. Now, it's really softened down, the shallots are nice and sweet, so I'm gonna take about two tablespoons of the garlic and shallot mixture, get the pan back on the heat and then we're gonna get some tomato in there. Now, turn up the heat so that you can start getting those ingredients heated up properly. So you can see that some of the moisture's gone. Season, a little bit of salt and pepper, and then tear in our basil leaves, and then make sure it all tastes gumptious. That's now nicely cooked, just beginning to colour, no more than that. I'm gonna get the tomato sauce on. The mistake people make with pizza is they put too much tomato sauce in. You just want a nice, thin skim over the top. Tear some beautiful buffalo mozzarella onto the top. Again, just small amounts. And now for the meat. Season it with salt and pepper and finish it off with a lovely drizzle of infused chili oil. Doesn't that look tasty? It's gonna be so delicious. Let's put it in the oven for another five to 10 minutes until the cheese starts melting and then we can eat it. Nothing beats freshly baked pizza. Just look at that beauty. I've got the garlic and shallot mixture from earlier. I'm just gonna drizzle that over the top. Okay. It's interesting because it's a potato base, but it's nice and thin. It just looks beautiful, doesn't it? Really, really tasty. The Maris Piper potatoes actually give some nice nuttiness to the pizza base. And then you've got the cheese, the tomato sauce is really rich. The chorizo. Oh, job done. It's a tough life. 